Uh, so we've now arrived at the Tanjong Jara, Tanjong Jara Resort. It's a pretty special night because they do a lot of turtle and marine conservation. So we're hopefully going to go down and see some turtles making their way, making their voyage to the sea. So fingers crossed. We're off now to have a look at the hatchery and hopefully release some little baby turtles. What's the baby turtle called? Hatchling. Hatchling. Um, so welcome everyone. We're from an organisation called Langtenga Turtle Watch. Um, we've been around since 2014. The eggs we have here come from green sea turtles. So green sea turtles are an endangered species and in this part of Malaysia they're actually really under threat because it's still legal to consume the eggs and unfortunately a lot of those eggs get sold to the market for consumption. Quite a lot of you were at our nest check this morning where you saw a lot of hatchlings and it's those same hatchlings that we're going to be releasing to the sea tonight. So I've got no real idea how that footage will come out. Obviously it's pitch black and you're not allowed to use any sort of white lights. All the volunteers have got a red light on which is okay. We'll just have to see what the footage looks like but I will link below if you want to support them, then follow the link. I love the rain, especially when it's like tropical, thundery, downpour kind of rain. Go have a look. Time lapse going on down there. It's on its way. So the nice people at the hotel have given us one of these as part of a fruit basket, dragon fruit, so I'm going to try and tackle it now. How do you eat it? Tastes like the cross between a melon and a kiwi. It doesn't taste as exciting as it looks. It's not bad, you know, when you have it with other fruit. That other fruit overpowers it. Looks wise, nine out of 10. It's hard to think of something that's a bit bit more mad than that. But taste wise, six out of 10 on taste. I'd rather have a kiwi or melon rather than some sort of weird kiwi melon thing. Right, peppermint tea palate cleanse. What else we got? We've got a tiny banana, whatever that is, a grape in like a little jacket. I think they call it a rambutan. Ram rambutan, rambutan. It's mad, look at that. Owen's culinary tour of Southeast Asia. Get the skin off, don't they? Oh, shit. It's squibbed everywhere. Oh, shit. I think it's ripe. It looks a bit like a lychee. It pops just so much, yet delivers so little. You always put your posh voice on when you're on film. So it's got seeds in the middle. It's got like a big stone thing in the middle, but when you try and take the flesh off, the stone comes away with it and then you can just taste like cardboard. Oh yeah. <laughs> Out of ten. Seven. Ooh, a lot of admin. Nice. The fruit's nice. Flavour is high. Very tasty but hard work. Alright, what's this? Ooh this might win this. Oats eyeball. Look at that bad boy. Oh no, that doesn't taste very good. Like, it just tastes like water that's been left out. Stale. No. Worst of the lot and flavour. It's a direct correlation between things that are easy to open and taste with things that are a bit more difficult and good taste. 
that's not been helpful at all really has it it's not like you're going to pop down waitress and get yourself a rambian tan is it well maybe you do maybe you do this is sago pearls so it's like some sort of plant mixed with frog spawn <laughs> coconut milk and then the old kidney bean and sweet corn Very nice. So the final stop on Owen's tour of Southeast Asia is this mad looking thing. It looks like a snake. We're in. It smells like pineapple. Pleasant. It just tastes like pineapple without the juice. Skin though. That is cool. So we have a pretty sweet morning lined up. One of the main reasons that we came to this resort is so that we could go scuba diving and that is happening today. We're going off about 45 minutes, 50 minutes by boat to Tengor Islands. Plenty of marine life going on. I think there's some hawksbill turtles and turtles is something I really, really want to see in the wild. Baby black tip reef sharks and then a whole menagerie of other animals. So I will see you on the other side. How's it going? Go for a swim. So sunrise this morning did not disappoint. It was beautiful. Now, back to the room, breakfast. It's all right, mate. <laughs> Maybe they're both. You are gorgeous. So that's Dotty. Yeah. Hey, Dotty. Oh, is that the one? And uh, no, this is sassy pants from the other night, I think. Hey, what this is? And over here, this is probably one of my favourite animals we've met so far. We've met a lot of animals. This is uh, this is Nelly. Uh, we've had what have we had? Two swans. Swans. I think this one's <laughs> the best thing about being here, barefoot everywhere. <laughs> 